Uh, we're at Conondale in Queensland. We're uh, setting up the track, ready to go racing Sunday morning. Get a look at the environment. Conondale track, one of the best moto tracks in the country. Pure motocross track. There's only maybe two or three man-made sections. The rest of it's just hills. You know, it's a big, strong track. You need a good, fast, powerful bike. Big braking bumps, lots of ruts. You know, the guys that win on this track are true motocross riders. We just had practice, qualifying, and the track's really fast today. Bike setup wise, I'm, I'm going to go a little bit firmer with the suspension and. Um, yeah, just looking for a bit more top end power as well. Um, yeah, it's, it, hopefully it's going to get rougher and um, slower to run down. My bike's got really smooth power at the moment, so that, that'll work in my favour, I think. But um, yeah, it's going to be all in the start. It's a, it's a tight, it's, a t it's fast but tight at the same time, so yeah, it'll make some interesting racing. Yeah, yeah, two motos, not too bad. I think they were both top tens. Got stuck, stuck on Doggy in that first one there and just couldn't make a clean pass. Um, Starts to let me down a little bit, so just bogging a little bit off the start because it's so grippy. So, um, change a few things and hopefully, yeah, get a better start for the, for the longer motor towards the end of the day. Uh, down here at Conondale, uh, up in Queensland, Sunshine Coast, awesome event. First time I've been lucky enough to be here, and uh, what an event it is! Track's unreal. And uh, just commenting before to Robbie Marshall standing here and Kane, can't believe the setups here. Everyone stepped it up for this year, um, you know, privateer teams with, uh, with semi trailers. Um, it's awesome, you know, Hart and Huntington guys, you know, did it old school on the way up, SSU, two bikes in the back, quick shade jam in the middle and they're still killing it. Fans everywhere, so uh, can't wait to the next round and uh, everyone's having a good time and if you're not here, because you're not, because you're watching this, uh, get to the next round. It's got a shoulder reconstruction, been putting it off for a fair while now and had a few close calls because of it, like doing one hand harsh and your shoulder pops out and you know, you float back onto the bike and luckily you're right out of it. Um, get, a, get that fixed, got to get an operation on my wrist as well in a couple of weeks and um, apart from that a whole lot of PlayStation. Should go rolls man. Motocross. It's been a while, it's been a few years since I've been in the motocross but that's good man, it's good to come and catch up with everyone. And so it's good, but they're fast these days, more fast than I was that's for sure. <laughs> Why are you racing, Marshall? Are you washed up now, pal? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Gary Reid gave me the sack a couple yeah. of years back, and I've been going downhill since then. So <laughs> tell um, so, tell Marshall about the hole shots that you used to do at Chewy's joint. Yeah. Just here at our Conondale track uh, in Queensland, Woodsy's just had two motos, um, top ten in both motos, which is uh, you know what we're after. McCoy's out here now and hoping to uh, you know the same deal, top ten, fifth, anything better than that to win for us. Up of Monster Energy MX Nationals Round One, Ben Townley dominant performance in the Pro Opens, absolutely schooled the rest of the field. Second place, Josh Coppins with a good ride. The first Aussie, the bunch there. Todd Waters did very well. Boys in H and H, good place to start there. Daniel McCoy didn't have a great day out. A few bike issues, issues in the first moto cost him the finish. Louis Woods, the man behind me here, rode exceptionally well in Pro Lights, just that class. So look for Louis Woods a little bit further on in the series. In the overall pro lights, that one was wrapped up by Kirk Gibbs from Ford Dale and Luke Stike rounding out the podium. Just uh, got done with the first round. Um, you know, we didn't quite have everything together, but we had parts coming in really late. Um, you know, but we'll be right for round two and, and you know, sort all the problems out and get on track. Just go home and work on my starts and try and try and get something real grippy to practice starts on. But um, other than that, about halfway through, I was stung by a bee in, in my head. So. That was hurting a little bit, but no big deal. And um, yeah, so pretty consistent, but need work on starts. Yeah, Woodsy done alright. He got top ten, um, which is pretty good. He got tenth and seventh in his first two motos, and tenth in his second, which was pretty surprising. and pretty happy with that. H and H boys really doing it by the skin of their teeth. They did a cracking job in Supercross. Here we got an SSU loaded up with the bikes. The boys are about to hit the road and head back. And then you look to here, there's trucks the whole nine yards here, you know, the H&H boys are doing it for the right reason, they're doing it just because they love the sport.